So straight up, yo, I gotta, you know, obviously, this is an online course. You came here for an online course, you know, um, and so that's, that's pretty much what y'all are gonna get. Um, so it's really up to you, you know, like doing the modules, doing the work, doing the quizzes, doing the final project presentation or paper, that's all in your court, you know. I'm not here, um, you know, I'm not, your, I'm not your mom and dad. I'm not gonna tell you to do your, do your laundry um, you know, to wake up, to make it to work on time, whatever. I ain't here for that. You know, I can't really do that. Um, so it's kind of up to y'all. Let's see, choose your own adventure. You know, do you want an A or do you want a D or whatever? You know, it's kind of up to y'all to make sure you do do the work. Um, but what I want to say too, and this is super duper 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 important, um, is that most of the lectures you are watching, I actually recorded in March, April, May, June. Um, so I'm up here pretty close to Eugene, but I have satellite internet, so it's, it's trash. It's total garbage. So I couldn't do like a zoom or, or anything like that, like class reliably. So I, I shot everything all around my homestead. A lot of, uh, films, you know, filming on my, um, my tractor in my barn, uh, did some on my, le uh, you know, on my hammock or, or whatever, all, all around the homestead. Um, you know, but I did shoot during that time. So one thing that's really important about that is the lecture material is money. You know, it's legit, it's good, like the examples, all that stuff is like, it's, it's, it's spot on, at least, you know, uh, curricularly, you know, it's all good. Just anything date specific um, or references like, oh, prepare for the exam next week, shit like that, Pfft, scrap it, forget about it, just ignore it. Like really just pay attention to the canvas, but any mentions of date specific stuff um, as it relates to the course itself, just note that that's from, um, <laughs> she wants some whiskey. Uh, you know that that's from, um, you know what I'm saying, this past spring. So um, with that said, that's really, really super duper important. Um, to get at me, you know, hit me up on, on my email, um, you know, just, let me know what class you're in. It's not like I'm teaching multiple classes now, but it also helps if you put CINE 230 in the subject header and then like whatever your issue is or whatever you want to talk about, um, just so I don't miss it amongst all of the crap that I get in my emails. Um, you know, so just, you know, to stand out amongst the turd, you know, put CINE 230 in there. Um, you know, this class, like, you can read what the class is about. This class is about ideas, you know what I'm saying? They're about um, ideas generally, what it means to be original, what it means to be creative, and then what it means to be, like, what it means to, like, own ideas, what it means to, like, what is a, an actual remix? Come on. Um, you know, like... I want us to kind of think about all that and then very, very tangible, very, 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 very tangibly like intellectual property law. So very practically. So you're kind of getting like a meld of like theory, practice and then like the law, you know, which is also theory, right? As, as weird as that sounds. Um, so that's just really important. So we're going to basically talk about like, you know, what what the hell is is a remix hopefully we'll rethink a little bit about what it actually is what actually constitutes creativity and originality in like 2020 um because you know we'll, we'll we'll learn about these laws that were written at a time you know when when the creativity was like an, an originality and like what you made was a book or a map you, you know what i'm saying so like Technology's changed, how we can do what we do changes and what we think is original is different now than it was, you know, a long time ago. So you can read the full course description, but like the bits and pieces of it is, is like we're really gonna look at the specifics of copyright, trademark, and patent and the nuances of that. We'll spend a lot of time on this concept called fair use. Um, and then we'll talk a lot about like you know, subcultural remixing, you know, by vitters or by, you know, beat, you know, people who sample music and make beats. Um, we'll also really talk a lot about like the biggest remixers in the world, which are like media conglomerates, 
you know, like the Walt Disney Company is like the biggest remixing company of them all. Yo, check this out. This is Peppercorn right here. She is pretty. She's going to be laying some uh, Easter eggs soon. She's been bugging out, bugocking like a motherfucker all around here. Uh, anyways, all right. Um, expected learning outcomes. You're going to learn some stuff. Again, just read those things over. But here's the real deal, Holyfield. Um, you know, intellectual properties, you know, I mean... If you look at like how Overlord Trumpito is losing his mind about China, even like all the TikTok stuff that's happening, you know, a lot of it's about intellectual properties um, and the control of intellectual properties and countries respecting other people's intellectual properties and laws and stuff like that. Because what does the U.S. export to the world? Ideas, movies, music, pharmaceutical drugs, you know, other patentable inventions, uh, brand names, oh my gosh, like Nike, like all that stuff is, that's what we export. And about, you know, uh, <laughs> about, uh, you know, 30 to 40, maybe even more, 50% of the United States GDP, which just took a huge poop, um, you know, is intellectual properties. You, you know what I'm saying? So th the chances of you being in an industry that produces intellectual properties or is governed by these laws or whatever is way probable because most jobs deal with it in some way, shape, or form. Um, and, and, and so this, you know, I mean, you can take the information from this class if you're going to do a startup, you know, street streetwear like company, or if you want to like. If you're an influencer and you want to monetize your brand, you know, all that stuff, like, you can really take a lot um, from this class. Or if you're, like, going into, like, um, you know, if you're, like, a chemist or anything, you can really take some stuff from this. So there's a lot of practical information, I think, as well in this course. So I, I do think it can, it can be really valuable um, to you because it's, you know, it's what America makes. It's what's made in America.